A poor guy. <laughs> His washing machine was totally broken. He had a towel on his head, and he was screaming, yelling. And the washing machine itself was screaming. And I said, Paul, uh, I said, Tomash, Tomash, why don't you just fix it? It's not the problem with the washing machine, it's my sister. She just came for a visit, and she won't stop jabbering. <laughs> Poor guy. He couldn't fix her. <laughs> <laughs> so let's welcome Tomasz with his next speech. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Friday evening. Young boys, about 20 like me, for example, usually go to bars or discos and try to pick up some girls. But not everybody is as successful as me. <laughs> My way of picking up girls is very simple. First, I attract her through my very nice dance. <laughs> I call it a plating dance because you can fuck and dance at the same time. <laughs> then I invite her for, for a drink and finally I thank her with my original humor which you like so much about me. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you need some help with speaking up girls, just told me, no problem. I fucked thousands of them. <laughs> Anybody else? I can see here some people who can definitely use my help. <laughs> this Friday was the same like the other. I'm out to beautiful girls, but I couldn't choose which one was better. The first one, let's call her, call her girl A. Had black short hair, was energetic, and had a t shirt with a sign I have eyes as well, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, maybe you like it. <laughs> <laughs> the other one, girl B, was blonde, had freckles, and freckles, had freckles, and looked at me like, like my dog Jerry. I don't know why, but finally I picked uh, the first one. <laughs> no, hey. ah, I know. It was not because her t shirt was funny, because, but what was under her t shirt? Tits. Big tits. Giant big tits. I wanted for a drink and we started to chat. I told a joke, she laughed. I ordered shots. She got drunk. I paid for them, and she invited me to her place, as usual. <laughs> we took taxi and go to her place. There, she started to take off her clothes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I made myself comfortable on the couch <coughs> and started watching her striptease. But then, suddenly, someone opened the door. My husband. Hug yourself! Not <laughs> where to? In haste, I crawled under the couch, but I think he could see my feet. <laughs> so he pulled me out. <laughs> this guy was 2 meters half big and over 120 kilograms. He started to choke me, but I managed to free myself. But then he punched myself. <laughs> <laughs> Then second hit, and <laughs> second hit, and my were on the floor. Third hit, and blood was everywhere. My blood. And then he sees me and threw me from the window. The window was very nice, I liked it very much, but it had one problem. It was closed. <laughs> so he could say it was my problem. I said, 
fortunately it was just first floor, so I was quite okay. I sat on the pavement, beaten, humiliated, everywhere, everywhere with broken glass. I needed a shot. So I went to the next bar to recover myself. <laughs> this was really bad. I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I choose the girl B? <laughs> the whole evening could be romantic, different, better. But now it's late. Mm. And my life would be was a videotape. I could just take a remote and push the button rewind. Everything would go reward. Back backwards. <laughs> Maybe like this. I gave back the shot of vodka to the barman. For this I, I said keep the change and I got 100 crowns for cost of vodka. Then I went backwards to the house. I picked out picked all the shirts and jumped into the window. And I fixed it in the same time. <laughs> it was a real mess up there. So I decided to clean it a little bit. And I and I stuck all the blood <laughs> from the floor with my nose. <laughs> there was a guy, big, ugly, but I wanted to see, show him, it's me who is the boss. <laughs> and I punched him with my nose into his, <laughs> into his fist. Before second hit, two teeth from the floor jumped into my mouth. <laughs> and before the third hit, the bruise from my uh, eye disappeared completely. <laughs> then I took his hands and pressed them against my throat. But he was stronger than me, he freed himself, seized me and put me under the couch. <laughs> In just a minute, I jumped back onto the couch, I started watching A, who started to put her clothes on to seduce me. <laughs> I even helped her. I buttoned up her bra with only one hand. <laughs> Afterwards, we went downstairs and took the taxi, and the taxi uh, reversed all the way to the disco bay. <laughs> there, we had a really nice chat. No! Oh. Do you like cats? Yes. Small, chubby, with grey hair. <laughs> what type of man do you like? <laughs> <laughs> I prefer older ones. I prefer older ones. <laughs> Would you like wine? I was really entertaining. <laughs> she laughed and then I told a really good joke. She liked the wine. The more she sped it into the glass, the more sober she became. <laughs> and finally, I took her and accompanied her back to B. There, I took again the remote and pressed play. I look at B, then at A, and at her tits. <laughs> I invited A again. <laughs> You learn from it, or I learned from this story. Nothing, I just loved it. <laughs> <laughs>